Welcome back, guys. Back to a brand new banger. It's your boy, XX Robbie, and you're watching Greatness. I'm sitting here, guys. Starseed energy, positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? Feel that good ass energy. Let me stop. Alright, don't pay no mind and the background at all. That background noise, it doesn't exist. It's not even real. Like, you can't even, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to tell you that, uh, the universe always has your back, you know, no matter what. The divine and whatever you believe in, it has your back. As long as you actually are making the right gestures, are putting in that right effort that you need to put in that, you know? And I wanted to say that, uh, you know, during my journey, I had to learn about, you know, the cause and effect of things, too. Like, I was kind of a little unaware, too, like, growing up, and I realized, like, bro, like, everything is, like, a tick for attack. Like, everything is basically, like, yo, you did this to me, and an eye for an eye is, like, But then I had to realize that um, some people literally don't have no type of uh, sense of awareness. Some people will literally just come into your life and expect you to give and give and give and and that's that, you know? In the moment, dumb people don't get what they want. They wanna act like, oh, you the bad guy. Like, yo, like, what? I've known you since this. Like, what, you gonna do me like that? Damn, son. That's crazy. <laughs> In reality, it's just not the type of people you wanna be around, bro. It's not. It's not the type of people want to be around or have in your environment because it's like, you, see, you just got to tell them no. Nope, it's not happening. Nope. And you got to stand up for yourself. You got to really take that type of uh, self-love. Some people are going to try to like doubt you. And I was watching this great video yesterday where it was like seven types of people you don't want to be around. Yeah. This guy was just talking about like um the gossipers, the rumors, the criticizers. Uh, there's um you know the, manip the manipulation. There's uh provoking like somebody just poking at you, like trying to provoke you to do something, and and you have to really step outside your body to really think like why is this person trying to provoke me to act a certain way or trying to push a certain button to make you upset because this is what they want. This is what they want and this is how they get you, right? Just seen this. I just seen this video. Like it was crazy how like the universe just like aligned everything for me to be like, bro, like it was a kid walking a store. It's like, yeah, your shoes dirty. Got me out of yeah, but he recorded me having a good old time. And I'm just, I'm just, and I'm just watching the video, and the guy like, shoes dirty, and I'm like, like, nah, you didn't take the time out to think like, this man has a camera at your face, talking about your shoes dirty, and he wants you to react a certain way, is provoking a person to act a certain way, and when he got the reaction that he wanted. His ego just went straight up. His ego just said, you know what? Got him right where I want him. And let's keep it rolling, Johnny. Let's keep it rolling. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, If this guy had some type of sense of awareness, some guy had some type of conscious mind. If he took the time out to meditate, reflect on himself, understand himself a little bit, a little, little bit more, because it was so easy to tempt him. And if it's that easy to tempt you over the smallest things, 
You as good as dead. You're almost as good as dead. Depends if you don't have uh, no type of, you know, guardians or spiritual angels that's gonna look out after you and be like, you know what? You can't play with that one. That's my child, you know? That's my son, Sangled On. But he got so out of character where it was just like, bro, you can be easily manipulated. That's bad. That's really bad. So you want to really just strengthen your mind every single day. You have to remind yourself, who am I? I am unique. I am chosen. Or I am your name. And you got to really just look in the mirror and really just like remind yourself like, yo, I'm super grateful to see another day. Anybody talking about sneakers, your clothes, material things, or what you don't have and trying to compare yourself to, oh, you want to look like a celebrity, you want to look like this, you don't have the fancy car, you don't have the fancy home. Remind yourself what you do have, bro. Like, you have a heart, you have a brain. You have eyes to see. You Do you know how blessed you are? Not blessed, blessed. Ashe. And you have to really tap into your greater ability of just being alive. And then you start to attract the source of abundance because you won't even be amazed by money. Money does not turn me on. Money does not turn me on. Yeah, we need it to survive. We need it for certain things in life. When you make money, that's great. That's great. Money does not turn me on to feel like, yo, like, it's everything. It's, it's like, all their life. No, it's not. It's not. So, um, I was just kind of amazed. So I'm watching this video, you know, and the guy provokes him or whatever, and he steps out of his own energy to match his energy that he was on. And it was just a big show. It was just a big game. It was just like, he got him all out of character, chasing him all around, you know, Walmart or whatever. And dang. At some point in time, you got to also realize, like, you know, sometimes people are more childish than others. Sometimes people are less mature than the way you think, you know, less mature to what you think. And maturity does play a big role into growing up and realizing that, yo, you have so much more potential to go out there and, you know, do what's amazing. Do, you know? Believe in the impossible. You can do great things. So it's like, you get that type of mindset. You let that type of, um, you know, to realize that you are here, like living in the moment, not too far in the past, not too far in the present. You know, forgive yourself from that, like whatever bothers you. And just keep pushing, just keep pushing, keep doing great and you're gonna be all right because as long as you're following that goal or following that path that you want to see into the future you're going to eventually just manifest it for you you don't have to don't expect things to just work the next day don't listen to what people have to try to tell you about how to live your life or listening to people who you know think they just know everything it's okay to take some um you know criticism it's okay to keep your ears open and listen to what what's being said around you because you're gonna need to know but it's also important for you to not take it to the heart to not have no type of emotional balance from within to understand your own self 
you are a human being going through you are a spiritual being going through a human experience having a human experience and the world is a stage the world is basically a stage we're gonna do everything are you not entertained i want to see everything you know Anti cars, you know, nice little strippers, you know what I'm saying? Nice little emo girls popping out, like, you know what I'm saying? But, um, it's just, uh, at the end of the day, it's about you. And I want you, I want you guys to actually feel that type of vibe, you know, get connected, go out there, put your feet in some grass, go out there in nature, go get some fresh air. Hug a tree if you got to. Hugging a tree is so healthy. Touching a tree. Um, you know, taking off the music for a little bit. You can listen to um, music. You can listen to uh, hip hop music. You don't have to listen to like, oh, um, just straight like a uh, high frequency things. You know what I'm saying? They got some like, uh, yeah, I was taught, I was uh, told that, um, you know, um, you know, music frequency is a thing. It's like playing a, a sad song on repeat and not expecting to be sad after the third or fourth time. You're going to feel some type of way. It's going to change your frequency. So be mindful of what you're listening to. But at the same time, don't get consumed by it. If you're vibing, you're jamming, cool. And then you have to like, change the frequency into a higher one you want to you want to have like a good ass playlist where like you can jam to your shit like you can jam to your own music like you know what i'm saying you want to catch a vibe you know you got some ballad ass hip hop songs up there ballad ass drill whatever boom you got to also have a playlist where it switches up the variety it switches up where it's able to like not just keep your mind trapped, because it is a trap, and then you're gonna start thinking. If you hear negative, you're gonna think negative. If you hear positive, you're gonna think positive. So it's like, you're gonna want some good tracks in there. You don't wanna just play the same thing over and over and over. And just don't get consumed by it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you listen to people, sometimes I be seeing people literally let the music take full control of them and possess them. Like, I be like, yo, like, just calm down, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? But to them, they really so. Mm, 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 mm. And then they want to wonder why, like, you want to go out and stab somebody. Like, bro, like, you can't just vibe. You can't. Those, those be the people you have to watch out for. Those be the same people who can't control their mind. They let things get to them too easily. So, this is why you have to have a strong mindset. You'll actually have to have. In common sense. It's just life. This is the life that we are living in. And, um, you know, just always be aware of what's going on in friend group situation like that. Be careful for the people who talk about other people because it's most likely they're doing the same thing behind your back, too. And, um, nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like there's opportunity, if, like this person ain't really mean or say that. And uh, if you feel deep down that this person is not truly a crackheaded person, or, you know, just only crackheaded vibes, maybe you can snap him out of it. Maybe that's why you need to be that source. You need to be that positive source in the group to let people know, like, yo, this is not going to be tolerated in this group. Like, you're going to have to get, get your minds together, and you're going to have to fix your shit. 1414. And um, that's really about that. Let me take a little sip of this. All right, so, um, um, um. Hope everybody's having an amazing one. Thanks for watching this video. It's your boy, XX Ravi. And keep being amazing. I believe in you. Stay great. Peace.